ching diya my name is pian and welcome to my vlog for today's video i'll be sharing to you how to schedule an appointment for your u.s tourist visa interview to schedule an appointment you must have the ds-160 confirmation number and pay the visa fee amounting to 160 us dollars you need the receipt number or the reference number of your payment if you haven't got those two and you want to accomplish them you can watch my other videos for that but for those who are ready please continue watching i'll be sharing my screen so you can see how it looks like laters i have already shared the screen i hope you can see it clearly let's paste the link to create an account and to schedule a visa interview the link is available on the description box below you can copy and paste it so this is how it would look like click the new user link and the new user registration dash philippines tab will appear make sure it says new user registration dash philippines to schedule the appointment with the u.s embassy in the philippines or else you will be flying to other country to have your interview Type your email, first name, last name, then nominate a password. It should be eight characters, either numbers or letters. Then confirm your nominated password. You also have to click the checkbox beside the I have read and understood the privacy policy. Then click the submit button. You will now be logged into the dashboard. So for this example, I will only schedule for an individual applicant. To start, Click the new application slash scheduled appointment located at the left portion of the screen. If a dialog box appears, just click the X button. So for the visa type, we have to choose non-immigrant visa. Then click the continue button. For visa category, choose business slash tourism. It is the second option. Then click the continue button. On the next page, for visa class, select B2 or Visitor for Pleasure or Medical Treatment, then click Continue. On the next page, a dialog box will appear with the Terms and Conditions. You have to click the I accept the Terms and Conditions before proceeding. It only says to enter your information through Latin characters or the A to Z alphabet. Enter your own email address and telephone number because this is where the notification and correspondence will be sent. Make sure that all the personal information is correct because any discrepancy on this site, passport, DS-160 confirmation number may require you to pay a new deposit slip. So be careful and check if you have entered the correct information properly. It also discusses about the appointments. It's first come first serve. It will depend what's the availability during the time you schedule the interview. You can choose the date and time of your preferred scheduled interview so i will click the i accept terms and condition now to proceed type in your passport details such as your passport number date issued place issued expiry date date of birth as per the nationality first name last name and country of birth this is autopath related as you can see choose the gender then input your ds160 confirmation number so before you can schedule an interview you must have the receipt number and the ds160 confirmation number i have also created a video on how to accomplish a ds160 form or the non-immigrant visa application form for contact information input two phone number it can be both mobile or cell phone number as for the email address it is also auto populated with the email address you use upon registration for mailing address input where you want your passport to be delivered once it is approved type in the address city state and postal code or zip code after that click the continue button on the next page dependent if you are applying with a group or your family members, you may add them here. Click the add by name and a dialog box will appear where you can add an applicant. Input their relationship, their DS-160 confirmation number, first name, last name, gender, date of birth, passport number, issuance date, issuance place, expiration date, phone number, 
alternate phone number then click the save button for this example i won't be adding any applicants since this is just for an individual applicant so let's proceed on the next page a question will appear are you under the age of 14 or over the age of 79 at the time of application if not just click the no button after that another question will appear when applying as a family or group all members must be able to answer yes to the following question i have a previous b1 slash b2 visa that i wish to renew i will choose no on the next page specify documentation delivery you have two options option one free pickup slash drop off you may pick up your document or your passport at a designated location which is lbc mall of asia branch option two is paid pickup slash drop off cost of premium is 400 40 passes it will be mailed to the mailing address you previously filled out payment will be paid through cash on delivery through the courier so for this example i'll choose premium delivery so as you can see it will show you the mailing address you input then click the continue button a dialog box will appear reminding you on the visa fees that they are not refundable and if you have an error with this application you have to pay it again Again, because it is deemed as used then click the confirm button and this is the payment page you can see summary of charges since this is for one applicant only it says one and then fee per applicant is 160 us dollar current exchange rate is 58 pesos to one us dollar total fee of 9280 on the text box receipt number this is where you will input the receipt number or the uid or reference number you use upon payment of the visa fee either through cash at bank or online payment through Pesanet. Since I don't have an active receipt number, I cannot show you how to choose an appointment date and appointment time. Don't worry, it's easy from here. What you can see is a calendar of the available date and time. You may choose your preferred date and time from then and then click continue. For this example, we can already see the first available appointment which is Monday, November 13, 2022. And once you successfully schedule an appointment you will receive an email confirmation with subject appointment confirmation it will look like this it has your details appointment details delivery address and visa fee payment with the ds160 confirmation number and uid or the receipt number on the day of your interview bring the following your passport this appointment letter 2x2 photo used in the ds160 2x2 photo used in the ds160 form and other supporting documents that would strengthen your application such as coe property titles bank certificate invitation letter leave approval payslip and other documents and we're back so this is where the scheduling of the u.s tourist visa interview ends i hope this video helps you if you have any question you may type them at the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified for another u.s service visa application tutorial have a nice day everyone Annyeong chingoya bye bye